Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you must have read the topic of the video, the title of the video, that we are going to see how SSH works under the hood, right? So SSH, I'm sure, I mean, if you're here on this video, you know what SSH is. It's like uh, the most common way today uh, to administer remote uh, servers, right? So it's basically give you access to the remote servers. And SSH makes use of uh, three kind of uh, encryption you would say so that is symmetric asymmetric and hashing and today we are going to discuss in depth how i mean ssh basically creates up a tunnel why it is so secure and ssh i mean before we go ahead ssh stand for secure shell right so we'll just go into depth of all the things right how ssh basically works uh, so yeah let's get started so SSH, you know, it's a client uh, server protocol, right? So let me just switch to my pen. All right. So yeah, so it's a client server protocol, right? So it's a client, you have a client which connects to a server, right? Uh, let's, and what SSH gives you, right? So it gives you a secure tunnel, right? An encrypted tunnel, basically, uh, within which you transfer your data. And anybody who reads this data will not be able to make any sense of it because it's, it's encrypted right so yeah let's see how this uh, encrypted tunnel is created so let's have a client over here and we have a server please pardon my drawing right and okay so we are going to talk about two main things right so first is uh, the tunnel creation right tunnel and the second one is user authentication right so these two things we are going to discuss uh, so I mean I'm not sure if I'm missing anything well not so let's first talk about how the tunnel is created so when we initiate an SSH uh, request, right? So the client initiates the SSH request. And in this request, basically, a lot of information is exchanged between client and server. So client actually sends the SSH protocol version it supports. In response to that, basically, server also, also tells it the... Right, come on. I'm sorry about this. Let me... And this is the software I'm using for the first time. So let's... Let's just get rid of this okay so in response to this uh, a pen so server and server in response to this also sends some information right so what that information is it's basically the version protocol they are supporting right yeah, so the protocol version which they support and they and the client on and the server basically it also sends uh, something which we call host key right so whenever you ssh to a server for the first time you actually have to make sure that you are actually accessing the server you want to and in order to that you do that you actually have to say yes to a host key checking which basically is a host key which is sent by the server right so you say yes to that particular prompt and because you're sure that you are accessing the right server so that's another information which is sent by the server all right uh, for tunnel encryption uh, ssh basically use something called uh, diffie hellman right uh, i think this so how does it do that basically so what client and uh, server do they come up with a prime number right a big prime number say let's say x x right so they both have a big prime number and there is something called uh, encryption generator which is basically the kind of encryption which we are going to use right so let's call that encryption generator as y right as y and then there is also a private key a private key or uh, which is nothing basically another prime number so let's call it Z right and this private key on the client side would be different so let's call it XYZ and XY say Z1 right so 
both client and server have these three numbers they run some algorithm on these three right the client will run algorithm on its side and the server will run some algorithm on this side and they will come up with another number say a for client and b for server right and this is basically a public key right public key so what client and server do is they exchange these public keys so a client will send its public key to the server and the server will send its public key to client right so now what client has is the original uh, prime number the generator and the public key right of the server similarly the server has the original prime number the generator and this is a and the public key of the client and this will be b the public key of the server now what they are going to do is both client and server will run some algorithm on these three information they have and they will come up somehow i mean the kind of algorithm basically this is what diffie hellman is right so they will come up with a common session key right so let's call that session key as s and same way that will be for server so now both the client and the server have a common session key which is basically what symmetric encryption stands for and now this particular key s would be used to encrypt all the data which will be flowing which is basically encrypting the tunnel right so this session key is what the ssh uses for encryption so this is the first part this is where we have discussed encrypting the tunnel right the first now let's talk about user authentication so let me just get rid of this and we again have a client and a server i'm actually getting the whole hang of this software okay so yeah so this is client and this is server so user authentication you know ssh supports multiple form of user authentication password username password is one uh, in this video i will go, we are going to talk about uh, public private key pair right so what normally happens is the client generates a key pair come on private public right pardon my writing it's it's the software it's not me and what we do normally we copy the public part onto the server somewhere in authorized key files right if you remember authorized ah, key file right and then when we ssh from client to server it it lets it let, lets us basically do passwordless ssh right so how does this this work so if you don't know each public private key pair which is generated actually has an id right so when the client actually makes this request it sends an id to the server right the server what it does it matches this id with the public key which is already there in the authorized key file right it matches that id and it it sees that there is a public uh, key with this particular id present right so what it does it say creates a random number and encrypts that random number with this public key which is the client's public key right and then it sends this to the client the client who has the private key is able to decrypt this message right so now client actually has x and what it does it uses the session key which was created for the tunnel and combines it with this number and calculates 
an md5 hash right and it sends this md5 hash to the server the server does the same thing right it it uses this uh, original number right where it is the session key plus the original number and it calculates md5 hash of its own right so once this md5 hash say m1 which was sent by the client and say the md5 hash calculated by the server is m2 so if these two matches right because md5 hash is i mean of a particular string will always be same so if these two matches the user authentication completes because then the server knows that it is the right user which is authenticated so then the authentication complete and then the user is actually presented with the prompt so this is how the user authentication happens between the client and the server so now i hope you are clear how the tunnel is created using the symmetric so you you can see we we when we talked about uh, symmetric asymmetric and hashing we actually ssh uses all three of that right so symmetric encryption to create or to to create a session key in order to encrypt the tunnel uh, public private key pair which is asymmetric encryption for user authentication and again md5 hash also again we calculated the hash as well right so this is in a nutshell how ssh basically works uh, more or more or less right maybe i've left some details of diffie hellman because i mean you can read about diffie hellman how diffie hellman works but uh, I mean, on a broader terms, that this is how the tunnel creation and user authentication works. So I hope you found this video. Please pardon my drawing. I mean, I'm I'm getting used to this software, this this new device. So I'm not very comfortable with this. But this please be. Uh, I mean, just I hope you understood what I was trying to explain, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked the video. I was away for a month or so. I mean, I was there were things which were going on in my life. That's why I was away. But I hope I'll be regular from now on. So please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.